right. Ooh. So this 21 kilogram box right behind me contains one of the most interesting chair that I've ever seen in my life. It's actually called Neutral Magic H. So this chair not only comes with auto following back support, but the world's first auto following neck support as well. On top of that, you get a foldable, very comfortable leg rest. And lastly, a tray that could be attached to your armrest which you can place your laptop and your drinking and so on. So basically, you do not need a desk to be able to work with this chair when you play games or when you carry out any normal office works and etc. This is what we call a desk chair, which will be a fantastic collection for myself. So enough said, let's get on with the unboxing, shall we? So here it goes. Wow, look at that. If you were to take out the first component, looks like it's gonna go on your back. Wow, <laughs> look at that. That is the actual support, isn't it? Cool, this is actually bigger than I thought. This, people, is probably another very important component. Laptop, use your mouse here, mobile phone, and your cup as well. So this is what we call the world's first neck following support isn't it this is the mesh back as well so cool oh look at that it's really nice good quality as well this is a really good quality brush aluminium finish of um star chair base isn't it without the last piece so this is one of the armrests um, left hand side to be precise and this is the remaining other side. Back support, look at that. The same quality mesh under five foot five inch, five, five foot five foot 10 and above five foot 10. This could, you could also adjust for the preference on your back as well. Probably one of the most <laughs> heaviest part of all. Yeah. Okay, so really good cushioning. You can immediately tell by the thickness of the cushion and the bottom is the actual foldable leg rest slide it this way fold it that's how it looks like a really nice cushioning as well this should be one of the core components that goes below your seating we all know how this works this is the remaining part for the actual star base and the wheels pretty standard i have to say the actual bar that actually joins from the seating to the star base. This is the instruction manual, screwdriver, and wow, look at that. They actually kindly sent a glove as well. People, this is very useful because extra glove really protects the grip. Eventually, it all comes down to this all together, isn't it? So that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, to start with, you actually bolt in four of these screws on each corner between the heart of the base mechanism and the soft cushioning base, okay? So the actual adjustment handle, this is pointing towards to the leg rest side and the flat end goes to the other side. Place the armrest against the actual base. If you look carefully, there's an R there and that really needs to match with the sticker R here. And as you can see, I deliberately pushed it out. All right, next one is putting in these three screws so that the auto following back support mechanism can join the actual overall base. You need to actually take that out and push it in and make a joint there. Don't worry when if it actually does not go all the way in, you just need to slightly push it harder and it's all fitting well. It seems like there's gonna be some other extra joints, but somehow the instruction tells me to just push it right in. This needs to make love to this part. Voila, I'm between five for five to five for 10 inch. Join a bit here and then you just need to screw this in. So if I were to twist that, whoa, wow. That's really nice spring action there, isn't it? This hooks onto the backrest. This needs to go beneath and it's firm together 
by using this screw here. It actually comes with spare each screws with a screwdriver in case you need one and also an Allen key as well. Oh, and lastly, it also comes with this um, silicon cover with a 3M uh, adhesive on the back. You can hide the actual uh, joint. You know that first piece of plastic I showed you during the unboxing process, that actually goes below the actual tray itself. You can readjust the width of it here goes to the other side of armrest. You basically slightly push it in. So this is the actual desk chair. I didn't realize early on, but you can actually place your tablet PC here with a power feed coming from either these two holes here. And then again, your smartphone with a power feed there. Um, I would actually warn you to not have a cup full of liquid on this slot here. If you actually can see you lean backwards, and it's angling up so you can easily imagine that the liquid will spill through your um, mouse pad here now this is also very clever as well so if you want to use your laptop you actually angle it this way and then you actually pull this up to make sure your laptop is supported on this end and you're all good to go so here we have it folks i have unleashed the full beast mode of this desk chair as you can see i have placed the tray or the desktop so i can place my laptop computer my mouse and my smartphone and a cute little cup as well on the bottom side of it i have also opened up the leg rest so it looks really cool indeed on the back side of it, I decided to place my Sony XM5 headphones. So anytime if I want to listen to music, I could stretch it back and then put it back on and so on. I just thought that would be a quite clever idea. I have to say some people might consider this to be a bit ugly and chunky, but this, in fact, the actual spring that actually adjusts your support for your back is one of the coolest features secondary is this headrest as well i mean the overall design is really cool indeed isn't it so if you were to rotate around to the other side that's how it looks so i hope you like the overall 360 degree angle view of this monster mode of this neutral chair Okay, so let's actually sit on the, ah, oh, that's really nice. That's a, immediately a very comfortable chair. So once you actually sit on this chair, you're welcomed by this really nice soft cushioning. You want to notice the actual cushioning itself on the base seater is thicker than the conventional office chair that is available in the market. So for starting from the top, you can actually adjust the height of the neck headrest like this and the actual cushioning side, you can angle it up and down 20 to 30 degrees as you can see and the actual support is on the fixed mode okay but if you want to have it as an auto following you just need to twist it on the right hand side and you can see immediately there's the spring reaction but for some reason if i were to adjust it for my preference i like it to be fixed like this mainly because of the mesh itself seems to give this really nice firm support for my head and my neck for your back support first you need to adjust the lumbar support by using these handles here i'm sure you can see it here so up and down and i kind of feel like this is the right spot and then you can either go for the auto following mode which is currently operating on or you can actually fix it if you're not happy with that so all you need to do is um, if you rotate this switch here clockwise then you'll feel like it's actually stiff it doesn't move if you think this is too weak the support you can uh, readjust this by rotating uh, one side to strengthen it and the other side to weaken it so that's based purely on your preference now for the armrest itself this is actually longer than the conventional armrest and obviously main reason is for uh, the ability to place the tray on the tip of this armrest it's a nice cushioning by the way a synthetic leather field and the way how you adjust the height of it is by pressing this button here 
so you can move up and down okay so if you were to look down here up and down up and down like that okay you can actually rotate it this way and also you can move forward and backward the other side of the armrest you will see this button here so this is mainly for sliding the armrest inwards and outwards okay again inwards and outwards inwards outwards inwards and outwards now actually for the adjustment of the base seater um, on the front side you'll see this bar here okay so if you were to pull it up this is where you can actually um, move this base forward or backwards okay that's what it's for and if you're happy with it you just release it and that's fixed on the back side if you want to actually uh, lock the incline on backwards you just need to actually um, push it in and then it's locked okay you can see that it's not moving this whole thing but if you were to pull it out then you can hear the click sound and immediately you could actually move it incline backwards and if you want to also adjust the height of your seater then you just need to pull it up and then you could actually adjust it to your preference for the actual leg rest all you need to do is slide it out or slide it in okay and then the final movement is you actually use your hands both of your hands to rotate it and that's all good to go now if you want to put it back all you need to do is pull it this actual button here pull it and rotate it okay then you can actually rotate it back and again slide backwards now that is really comfortable i have to say i'm really really pleased by this your weight stress is no longer focused on your bottom of your hip it distributes into three main points i can feel from the top is actually your head against your uh, neck head support and then it's no longer uh, stressing out your lower back but your upper back is pressing down on the back support and then finally it's both of your uh, legs leaning against the leg support so those are the three main weight stress points that I can immediately feel <laughs> this is really really good now on the desk chair option um, where you actually place your tray on the chair itself I heard some people actually complain the fact that if you actually sit upright um, you cannot work on your laptop and yeah in this circumstance it's quite true but the alternative is that you can always adjust the height and that seems to be perfectly fine for me or the other solution is you can technically pull this to the edge of the armrest itself I think they were assuming that the tray needs to be always um, you know slide backwards all the way in um, but I think this is also acceptable now a bit of a nuisance once I finish working on this desk chair mode I have to actually pull out the whole tray and place it on the floor to be able to walk out of this chair so I wish there would be a better solution for that as well so from the beginning I've been questioning myself why this neutral magic haste chair weighs so much i.e. 20 to 21 kilogram but it's when this moment I decided to actually quickly decline backwards I initially had this fear going whoa 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 I'm gonna fall on the floor and injure myself but in fact because of the soft cushioning uh, seater and also the metal component and the base and etc the weight itself is heavy enough it can support you to do various relaxation modes so you can do this and you can do that and you can almost fall asleep and etc so knowing the fact that this really high quality really comforting chair is waiting for me at home uh, it's really good feeling indeed so i'll definitely recommend you guys to also get one so that you can actually carry on with your hobby i.e uh, youtubing or you could play some games watching tv and even you can fall asleep as well indeed so i hope this video covered almost every aspect i how to assemble the neutral magic haze chair or use 
every single component related to the chair and etc but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye